you go. You're getting all wrapped up. So this baby is about five minutes old. Yeah, welcome to the world, little one. And the lights just went out. And there's no more light. Childbirth should be a joyous event, one to be celebrated. But for so many women around the world, childbirth is a risky and all too often fatal event. More than half a million women die each year from pregnancy complications. That's the same as one woman dying every minute of every day. And that's an outrage. That should never be happening. Why should it be that women in places like Africa have a hundredfold higher chance of dying in childbirth than someone in an in a industrial country? And for every woman who dies, another 20 suffer severe complications, sometimes permanent complications from that experience. As an obstetrician gynecologist, I worked for 14 years in this country before I went to Nigeria. And I never saw anything like the conditions that I saw in Nigeria. Most women in Nigeria deliver at home. About 97% of the time they deliver in homes that have no running water, no electricity, dirt floors, and really terrible access to transportation. But when a complication occurs, the only way for those women to survive is to get to a hospital that can provide emergency care. The hospitals are staffed with midwives and doctors that can't perform their job because they don't have reliable electricity, they don't have lighting at night, they can't use the equipment that's there when the electricity is down, they don't have blood bank refrigeration because that requires electricity, and they don't have a mobile telephone system in order to call people when emergencies occur. Do you yeah. feel like your lighting is adequate in the evening for doing surgeries? No, actually at present we don't have enough. The lighting is not adequate. Okay. Yeah, because most at times we run out of uh, the general public lighting system. So from my observations in the hospital, I knew they didn't have a reliable electricity system and they also didn't have a communication system. But I did know that they had plenty of sunlight. And so I thought maybe we could use the sunlight in order to power electricity for the hospital. And that's indeed what we did. We brought in photovoltaic panels, we put them on the hospital, and they're now being used to provide electricity for lighting, for some of the equipment that was laying dormant before we were there, such as the ultrasound machine, the suction machine in the operating room, we were able to purchase a solar-powered blood bank refrigerator. That was very nice. Ah, that's good. Yeah, 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 really. And we were able to install a communication system using walkie-talkies that can have battery charging from the solar electricity. And those are being used to notify all of the emergency staff when a woman needs to have an emergency surgery. So in the past when I was there, I would see patients waiting for more than four hours while people were searching around the hospital looking for doctors that could provide help. But now the on-call doctors carry a walkie-talkie and the nurses can notify a doctor instantly when help is needed. With the enhanced lighting and communication equipment, the hospital was transformed. Midwives were no longer delivering babies in the dark. Doctors were able to perform surgery at any time of night, and no one has been turned away from the hospital since we brought in the system. Blood is also available through the blood bank. Women have a right to a safe delivery. We have the technology and we have the skills to ensure that every woman, no matter where she lives, can have safe and comprehensive care. But we do need to provide light and mobile communication to allow the healthcare workers to give the care that they've been trained to provide. When I was in Africa, I couldn't believe the conditions in which women were delivering babies. And I felt like the world really needs to know what's going on, that if people knew that they would really want to be involved and make a difference. I felt that people would share my dream that women in Africa should be entitled to a joyous, safe birth, the same as women in America. So I created this organization called Women's Emergency Communication and Reliable Electricity. We care. 
And I also named it We Care because I felt that people do care. And I was really believing that people would join with me to make a difference, to help to bring reliable electricity, constant lighting, mobile communication, and improved care to women in Africa and other parts of the world so that all women could have a safe and effective childbirth experience. Thank you. We are so grateful from Haji Agambosa, our general hospital.